Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. So, oh, it's a food order. Of course it is. So today we're going to be getting into my Stitch Fix box for this, this time that I get it. This is not a monthly subscription, so it, it just, it comes every now and then. As I'm cutting into this bad boy here, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you guys why Stitch Fix is the absolute worst subscription that I could ever possibly have purchased for myself. I have an issue, one, with the post office, not solely because I have a vendetta against me and I like to just really smash up most of my packages, Um, but I just have like a weird post office anxiety. So I try to avoid going there as much as possible, which is the first issue with Stitch Fix because you have to send this stuff back if you don't like it, which means you have to go to the post office. Two, I have absolutely no memory, which means not only am I afraid of going to the post office, I just forget to go there. With Stitch Fix, you only have a finite window to be able to return it until they just charge your account for the whole price of the box. Take for instance my last Stitch Fix box, which you guys didn't see because I filmed like just the unboxing portion of it and then I was like, I'll film the try on later. Guess what I didn't film later? And then guess what I didn't return? All of the clothes that I unboxed and then didn't try on. And because of that, um, I now own like $262 worth of extra Stitch Fix clothing, which one of those items is this tank top I'm wearing. Granted, I get a lot of use out of it. I do really like this tank top, but it was 60 dollars. A 60 dollar white stretchy tank top that I now own because uh, one, the post office scares me and two, I have no memory. So there's my little introduction story. Let's go ahead and get on into this box here. So Stitch Fix is a styling subscription service. You you get it whenever you feel like it and it's like 20 bucks unless you forget to return all this stuff. All right, so I have my little uh, deli meats wrapped up here. I'm seeing some colors I like, which is um, pretty much the absence of color black. Um, there's also like a maroon shade up here and some denim, so that should be interesting. And then it looks like we also have a pair of shoes here, um, Stitch Fix shoes. I've never been a huge fan. So uh, let's just go ahead and start here with the shoes and see what they have sent us. Meow. You would think that maybe this box would be a little bit more geared towards spring since it's, you know, springtime. But in fact, what they have sent us is, I don't know if this is supposed to look like animal print, but it looks like just the tiniest little like cheetah leopard print from like a miniature little cheetah. Um, So it's like black speckled on top of a tan boot. The black speckles have kind of like a soft velvety feel to them and then it's just a little zip up ankle boot. I can't say that I've ever worn a shoe like this. Um, I typically am not much of an animal print kind of person, but again, this could just be like specs. It just looks very much like small cheetah print. Just the ittiest of ittiest of cheetahs. They have like a little zip side to them. I mean, they're, they are cute. They are cute. I feel like in the fall, these could definitely go with, you know, some jeans and a sweater, that kind of thing. I just think it's interesting that they're giving like a boot, especially one that looks this fall-like during the spring season. I mean, they seem like a nice boot. I just don't necessarily know how much this is my style and especially for like this season. I don't, I don't really know. So we'll, we'll give those a try later. You guys, I did get one stitch fix. I also didn't film because of you know and the stuff in it was so I hate to just say bad but it was it just it was kind of bad like I got like a pajama top and just things that didn't match my style profile at all whatsoever they felt like fairly low quality and um, I did send all of that back thankfully I actually like got up the gumption and like the memory to uh, send it back they offered me a free stitch fix to kind of make up for that one because it was pretty rough all right so first up on our little stack here is this a swimsuit Oh, okay, so this is actually a sports bra. Um, I personally have never had a sports bra like this before. It just looks kind of like a regular tank top and I would probably most likely wear it as a tank top because of lack of exercise. Um, but it's a really pretty kind of maroony color. Um, I do like this color. Oh. I'm trying to see if this little logo here is the same logo that's on the back of this little stretchy tank top because if it is, and this is going to be a very expensive item, this is from NGP Design for Life in Motion. I could not remember if that is the same brand, but it kind of seems reminiscent. So this is supposed to be moisture wicking, breathable, and have four-way stretch. It does honestly feel really nice and sturdy. It feels like really good material. It has like a little built-in bra here with removable bra pads, so that is nice. So yeah, I mean like if this were something I saw at TJ Maxx and I was looking for kind of like a sporty type top then I probably would pick this up for like 24 bucks. I'm just really nervous about how much money it costs to be fully honest. All right the next item we have here is very soft and black so we're off to a good start. This is the Gorday Garma Asymmetric Cold Shoulder Top. That's a lot of things in the shade black and it is a size medium. Yes that is a lot of things. Okay so right off the bat very soft. I'm liking the soft. It's also very black. I'm liking the black. 
black but I don't know if you guys will really be able to see this on camera it might show up a little bit better or I'm sure it will show up a little bit better when I try it on but there's just like a lot of things happening here so we have like this cut out piece here in the middle with a strap and this side over here has a cold shoulder this side doesn't um so yeah that's a very unique looking top oh it's also like a three quarter is that even a three quarter is that like a half sleeve what would you call that interesting very interesting i just i can't imagine what this is gonna look like on me so we'll, we'll get that a try as well and we're gonna give everything a try so you know because i don't really need to say that part um let's go ahead and move on here to another black item this is heavy this is quite heavy i'm gonna assume this is a oh no okay i started i started saying i'm gonna assume this is a dress just based on like the feel of the fabric and like the heft of it when in fact this is actually a kaylee rochelle knit jumpsuit mom if you're watching apparently the universe is just trying its darndest to get me inside of a jumpsuit so far like half of the wedding dress places i've gone to have attempted to put me inside of a jumpsuit i did give in on one and i just felt like all sorts of out of place um i feel like i'm not cool enough to wear especially this one was a white satin like wide leg deep cut v wedding jumpsuit i don't think i'm on that level of like fashionable or cool to be able to pull that off this one's different um it's black with like little flecks on it oh that's the legs i thought that was gonna be the top oh it's spaghetti straps okay another thing that i just i don't do is spaghetti straps oh and a bow okay I can truly just envision people wearing this and pulling it off and looking so cute. I just feel like I can't wear stuff like this for some reason. Like, um, I'm not a strap, like, spaghetti strap kind of person. I feel like maybe I need to be, like, taller or something to pull off a jumpsuit and maybe it's just, like, again, too cool or fashionable for me. It is a wide leg jumpsuit with just little pieces of, like, cream pieces on it. It's not exactly a pattern or anything. I feel like this would be crazy comfortable to wear though. It feels really really stretchy. It's kind of like a cooling feeling material and I feel like it would be like lightweight. You could probably bend a lot in it if you needed to. Oh this have I been showing I think I've been showing you guys oh there's pockets. I think I've been showing you guys the back this entire time. I honestly can't tell. Oh the tie on the side. I mean it's cute. It is really cute. I just don't know how cute it will be on me. But again I'll give it a try, <laughs> like we are for everything. All right, and last but not least here, we have a pair of denim. We have a pair of very, very wide-legged denim. I have done my style profile and I have rated all the boxes I've received. Um, and I'm fairly certain in each of them I have said that I don't like wide legs. I like, you know, a millennial in me it loves a nice skinny tight jean, high-waisted. I liked cropped things. Um, I don't like straps or to show off my arms. I don't think I ever said anything about jumpsuits, so maybe that one's on me. Um, but so far this is a very un-me box. So these jeans here are from Just USA. They're designed in Los Angeles. They're in a size 29, which I, I don't know what that is. Oh, eight. Okay, they're in a size eight, which is my size. These are the Scarlet Super High Rise Wide Leg Jean, and oh boy, are they wide. They're quite wide. Like, that's that's a bell bottom. That's a 1970s bell bottom. If it flared out a little bit more at the end, like, that's... Look how straight and square and wide and rectangular that is. Just to be fully honest, just put it out there. I don't think I'm gonna like these pants. I actually don't think I'm gonna like most of this but the only way to know is to try it on that's right so let's go ahead and jump on into the try on portion I'm gonna need somebody to tell me with all honesty am I currently wearing Janko jeans are these <laughs> the reincarnation of the 1990s Janko jeans what is this I mean I try the leg room truly is remarkable I mean you can really I'm from Kentucky so that's a dance movie pull out frequently but like this is one of the worst things I've ever seen on my body. What is this? Never have I worn a pant that has made me feel more wide and short and just like unshapely. I've just, I've never been just a full rectangle of denim before. If you want a full length denim skirt that also gives you the ability to like at any moment, then th this is for you. But I truly couldn't imagine anything worse for my shape or figure than these pair of pants. And it's not like a flattering 1970s like flared leg jean. You know, those typically have some shape here and they flare out around like the knee. This just flares straight from the hip down. I, I just, I just, 
it makes me want to... <laughs> I will say they're incredibly comfy. You know, it, it's like denim PJs. They are a little bit too big for me, but they are very, very stretchy, like I have demonstrated before. This much pant and that little of a pocket? Are you kidding me? Pockets could go all the way down to your knees in these things. While I'm up here, I'll just, you know, hike my leg up real easily because I have so much room to do so and show you guys the shoes. I really don't know how to do this. I'd be the worst fashion model. The shoes themselves, now that they're on, I actually don't think they're that terrible. They just look like a little ankle boot with like, you know, with some little splishes, a sprinkling of like black dots on them with an appropriate outfit. I don't think they would look that bad. But again, I just think it's an interesting choice to send for like a spring shoe. All right, let's move on to the next most offensive item in this little outfit here, this shirt. I'm, what, what is, what is this? What's going on? We got the cold shoulder. We got like an asymmetric neckline. There's a hole here. It's like a half sleeve, not like a three quarter sleeve, but like there's a full elbow sleeve. There's also two layers for some reason. Again, a very interesting choice going into spring. I will say that it is very, very soft and it has like a nice shape to it. At least it's not just a box. But they chose to send this shirt and these jeans together and I think it's such a weird combination. Maybe they're not saying that it should be an outfit, but like I feel like in the boxes they should send things that could make outfits. So these are a fairly high-waisted jean and like they're a pretty thick material and this is a very thin material. So it being pulled down to the length that it's supposed to be, you can just see everything. You can see the button, the zipper the pockets. So if they had sent like an appropriate length shirt with this, I think it makes it look a little bit better. But at the same time, this shirt is just, it's weird. Like this is a very strange shirt. There's too many elements. The only thing it really has going for it for me personally is that it's black and soft. That's like two of my favorite qualities in clothes. But I just feel like there are just way too many things going on and um, I, I just, I really do not like the length of the shirt, especially with these pants. Actually, I don't like anything with these pants. These are some of the worst things I've ever put on my body. All right, next we'll try on the little sports bra thing. Oof. Holy guacamole, this is tight. It's a little on the tight side. I did also keep my regular bra on with it, so maybe that's one of the reasons. Um, but this, this is fine. This is like a regular looking kind of tank top, but it has like a built-in bra. This will probably be my favorite thing like from the boxes. I am absolutely not a fan of my arms whatsoever, so I wouldn't wear this necessarily by itself. This obviously could work as like a top for the summer, or you could put like, you know, a cardigan or something over it, and it just looks like a regular tank top. I really like the color of this. It does feel very supportive and nice. The back of it just, it looks like that. I, I don't know what this is called. Razor back? But yeah, this isn't bad. Um, I liked the ribbed fabric to it. You know, it has like a, a nice sound, which is what you look for in, in fabrics. Um, but it does, again, give like nice structure. Kind of nips in here at the waist. And uh, yeah, I like this. Let me go see if I can peel this off my body. And I guess we'll try on this. One good thing about these pants is that you don't have to take off your shoes to take them off. I did forget it had pockets. That does make it better. Okay, so here is the jumpsuit. I have just personally never been a jumpsuit person. If this was, if like the legs were sewn together and this was a regular dress, I would feel much better about it, but it's something about like, you know, the, the legs. It is very comfortable and very flowy. I like the tie at the waist. It kind of, again, it gives you more shape. It's kind of like a faux wrap and wrap dresses and wrap shirts are one of my favorite like shapes to wear because they do really accentuate the waist. And again, you really just have the ability. One thing I think is really funny is that the jumpsuit and the shoes are like the opposites of each other, so they, they go very poorly. So for me personally, I've never been a fan of like small little straps like this, um, so this wouldn't necessarily be the straps or the neckline I would choose. I would like this more honestly, like if it had a sleeve. All right, so that is the last item out of the box. Let's go ahead and get some prices. Okay, so in my personal opinion, that is definitely one of the worst Stitch Fix boxes that I, I've ever received. I didn't like almost anything in it. The maroon like sports bra was pretty much the only thing I was like, okay, maybe I could get some use out of this. So if that thing isn't like a hundred bucks or something ridiculous, then I might put my $20 towards that and then send everything else back. All of it back. I don't want those Jenko jeans anywhere near me any longer. All right, let's go through the papers that they sent us. Let's, let's just, just see well, how they said that we should style those Jenko jeans. Oh, okay, fantastic. So they said that we should style the high rise, super freaking wide jeans with a very large flowy top. Just in case the bottom didn't make you feel and look wide enough, let's add a very large loose flowy shirt on top. That sounds like a very good idea. Alrighty, now for one of my favorite and also least favorite parts of Stitch Fix is reading the ridiculous price tags that sometimes are associated with these pieces of clothing. <clears throat> so the first thing we have here is the MPG Sport Crave long line bra in the shade burgundy that was a size medium. I'm gonna try my best to not read the other prices so we can be like shocked together. Um, It is $46, which 
isn't the worst price I've ever seen for like a sports bra type thing. Like I said in the beginning of this video, the little white tank top that I was wearing was $60, which was kind of insane, but that one at least has like built-in like pads and it's a bit more supportive. So I don't think the price is too terrible for that and I might just go ahead and keep that item so my $20 can go towards something. Then we have the Gold Ray Garmia Asymmetric Cold Shoulder Top in black, also a size medium, which is $48. I will say that it seemed like a good quality top. For some reason there were two layers. I don't really know why, but it did make the quality seem nicer. It also was a very soft, comfortable material. With that being said, I just didn't get it. I full it maybe you get it, maybe other people get it. I just didn't get it. There was like so much happening, so much going on at the top, but at the same time, like it was kind of dull. I don't know how that happens. And I definitely don't believe I will be keeping that. The next item is the MIA Tracy Booty. It came in the color brown and a size 7W and it Maybe it's because all of my shoes come from like TJ Maxx or Amazon. There's pretty much nowhere else I shop for shoes. And if they're more than $29.99, I really have to like evaluate what I'm doing with my life. I did just recently buy a pair of $100 shoes, but they're like for my wedding. So I figured I could swing it like just this one time for my wedding because they're supposed to be very comfortable. But these little booties are $74. And I definitely feel like that is a TJ Maxx $29.99 special that I could get probably anytime around the fall. I mean, the quality seemed fine, like just a regular shoe fine. They they were kind of comfortable for the couple minutes I was wearing them. Like, you know, the, the few minutes I was also hoedown dancing in them. But $74 for a fairly standard looking little ankle booty like that? I just, I think that's way too much. Yeah, okay, here we go. This is what I'm real excited about. We have the Just USA Scarlet Super High. <laughs> High rise wide leg jeans in the shade indigo size eight. They are not as much as I was anticipating. Okay, they are $58, which um, I personally would never pay $58 for something that made me feel that hideous. But as far as jeans go, especially ones with that much material, you would think that much leg material, they would charge a little bit extra for it. And that $58 truly isn't that bad for jeans, again, Try not to pay that much, but $58 really isn't too terrible. And then finally, we have the Kaylee Rochelle knit jumpsuit, which it doesn't really seem like knit. I don't know what knit is, I guess. Uh, to me, knit is like sweaters. Um, <laughs> In the shade black, it is a size medium. It also is $58, which for a full outfit, you know, it like comes like attached together. You're getting a whole outfit. Maybe that isn't too bad either. It also did feel like pretty decent quality and was very comfortable. So the subtotal for everything is $284. But if you buy everything, you get 25% off, which takes $71 off the total, bringing your total to $213. And you also get your styling fee off of that. So subtract another 20. And that brings the grand total, if I were to keep every single piece, which I'm definitely not, um, to $193. And uh, no, no, I would never pay that much money, in the $284 or the $193 for that assortment of clothing. Hopefully I haven't already done so because I don't know if I'm past the time limit to actually send the stuff back to get a refund. Not even a refund, so they don't charge me. This one I will be, I will be pretty sad. Pretty sad if I'm stuck with the items. That is why this is like the, the worst possible subscription that I could have ever selected for myself to try. At the same time, it's also kind of fun. I don't know, I don't know. So listen you guys, if any of those items that I tried on would be like your perfect piece of clothing to add to your closet, that is absolutely like totally Totally fantastic. Everybody has different styles. Just for me personally, that is not my style. Those items just would not make me feel like my best and most confident self. So that is why I am not a fan of them. But if your like favorite types of jeans are those super wide leg jeans, then do it. I bet you look amazing. I just personally don't feel amazing in them, and that is why I'm not. I'm not gonna buy them. Nope. And I'll probably never try on another pair like that ever again in my life. But that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind. It the absolute world to me. I just hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!